Well, you know it's a good day whenever our favorite holistic plastic surgeon Woo! stops by. Today yes. we're going to be talking all about what people can't stop obsessing over. It's your face, people. That's right. So please <laughs> give it up for Dr. Yoon. <laughs> yes. yes, Dr. Yoon. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. People on the chat are already like, Dr. Y, like they know him, like I do. <laughs> um, Dr. Yoon, everyone's been talking about this, and it's a little uncomfortable, but it's Madonna's, like, face. Like, what happened? <laughs> so she hasn't come up forward to say exactly, but this is what I think happened. We do know that the face ages in three dimensions, and so we inject filler as a way to re-add volume in the face as we get older. Well, a little filler is a good thing. A lot of filler can be a bad thing. A lot of people are accusing her of having had too much filler, but I wonder if it's not that she had so much filler, but maybe she had a little bit of filler, maybe some laser treatments, and then ended up swelling oh. and then had to go on the Grammys oh. because she does have her tour coming up. I don't think that this is how she's going to look for a long time. My guess is she'll come back in a couple of weeks and you'll see she looks back like we we normally see her. Little Temporary. Sure. You know, like back in the day, they've finessed facelifts, but back in the day you could really tell and then it would relax a yeah. couple months later and She's then they looked fabulous. A little swollen. Yeah. Thank you. It'll, okay. All right. That's so, what doc, I think. Dr. Yoon, let's, uh, speaking of faces, let's talk about the new O face, <laughs> Ozempic <laughs> face. What's the truth? What, what's the truth about this? <laughs> So Ozempic is a diabetes medication, and it has the side effect of actual weight loss. And so a lot of people are now using this uh, as an off-label treatment for weight loss. And people are losing a ton of weight with it, and they're finding that their face is changing. And one person even said that she doesn't recognize her face anymore. Now, we do know that with weight loss, you can also lose weight in your face. And I don't think that there's anything specific about Ozempic or Wagovi that changes your face that normally aging wouldn't do. And that is individual. Everybody's face changes differently if they lose weight. Hmm, okay. Does, I'm curious, <laughs> does it have to do with the rapid weight loss? Because when I used to do fitness competitions, I would get the O face too. You would? Yeah, I would, I'd look Gaunt like the Crypt Keeper. Oh, yeah, wow. it was bad. My body was banging, so, but it was bad. <laughs> I do think that with more with more rapid, rapid weight loss, you may find that the skin doesn't have the time uh -huh. to really kind of adjust to it and to um, kind of jump back to what it used to be. But the problem with this is, is everybody is different. You know, the older you are, the less you take care of your skin. All these are factors that can really change how somebody's face looks with weight loss. And so there unfortunately is not one change fits all in this situation. Okay. So what are the worst procedures you can have done to your face that people are still getting? So one big one is the upper lip lift. And I have gone on social media and What's have you know, expressed mm -hmm. my concerns with oh. it. And there are a lot of doctors who've gotten really upset with me because they make oh. a lot of money doing this procedure. <laughs> this is a surgical operation where you cut out skin from the base of the nose of the upper lip to help lift the lip up. What? Oh a my lot gosh. of young people are doing this. The problem with this operation is it creates permanent scars. Oh There's always gosh. a risk of thickening of those scars. You know, ah. you can hide it with makeup most of the time, but this is something you're gonna have for the rest of your life. And doctors are promoting this for people who are in their 20s, no. believe it or not. Not Dr. Yoon. Uh -uh. No, he's no. not. No, no. no thank goodness. No, and Doc, it's, it's good to have another MD here. Oh my uh, God. Talk about, <laughs> talk about trends here. <laughs> um, you know, because uh, you, you're showing us all the stuff. We can barely watch it. We're two years, two months into the new year, and you have to tell us what is the weirdest trend you've seen just so far? So there is this trend called slugging, and it's pretty out there, but basically you take a bunch of Vaseline or other occlusive type of an ointment, oh. and you put it all over your face. You sleep with it, so oh. it's getting all over your pillow and stuff uh, as a way to aggressively moisturize your skin. Now, this is something that if you're in really, really dry climates, you've got really dry skin, then it may be helpful. But if you have acne-prone skin, mm. if you're in you know humid climates, if you're applying a lot of actives like retinoids, then you definitely need to avoid slugging. Or if you have Slug. somebody that sleeps in the bed with you, that might be, a, <laughs> that might be an issue. Now, I do share little, your pillow with the other person. I do a little Vaseline right on the edge here, just because it's so dry. Is that okay? Just like a little? 
Yes, yeah, okay. and you can see in that video that that's not just a little. This no. is slugging. Like you've got a slime layer all over your face Ooh. in this treatment. How do you yeah, sleep? Yeah, that looks that like on. cream oh. for your feet. Don't be putting feet cream on your face. That's Dr. Awesome. Yoon, we love you. Thank yes. you to our viewers. Dr. Yoon has some of the best content out there. Give him a follow across socials at Tony Yoon MD. We'll be right back. You Thanks, Doc. Best, Doc. Bye, Thank Doc. you.